Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed on August 15, 2015, 107 a.m. Birmingham. Topic, very interesting. The napkin was folded, meaning I will be back. <laughs> I know you're clueless, at least some of you, as to what I'm talking about. When Jesus died on the cross and he was buried and he said many things prior to his death that he would return, that it wasn't over and that the matter in which they seen saw him go, the angel said this, they'll see him return in the same way. Well, he did one thing that spoke volumes to his disciples. And a lot of people don't even think about it. It's uh, probably never heard of it. The Jews had a tradition. And, and I say tradition, not you know, if you if you were sitting down with a group of people and you were eating, it was common for someone to get up and go outside and smoke a cigarette, come back in and finish eating. Well, back in the days, 2,000 years ago, it was also common during the meal to stop and take a few minute break and return. But in order to let the people know that you would be back is the way that you left your napkin on the table. If you took your napkin and once you wiped your hands and your mouth, you know, and cleaned up, you wadded it up and, and put it down. That meant you're done. You're finished. You're not going to return to eat anymore. So they would clear that spot. In the day of Jesus, that's exactly what they did. It was their way of finishing what they had started or either saying, I'll be back later to finish. When they searched the tomb, when Mary come running, screaming and crying, said, they stole, my, they stole Jesus. My Jesus is gone. But yet when they went into the tomb, they knew right then but they also questioned right then, wow, what he did was when he uncovered himself, he folded that sheet as though it was a napkin and he folded it in a way and set it down in a way that said, I'm not done. I will be back. If he was eating a meal and he took a break, he would fold the napkin in a particular way, a neat fashion, and set it on a certain place by his meal. So when they were coming to clean up, they would not touch his plate or his utensils or anything. They knew he was going to return. And all of the people did the same thing. But what was, uh, what was a clear message to the disciples in that day was the way he folded, and we'll call it a napkin, the sheet that covered it, probably the Shroud of Turin, but the way he folded it 
and laid it down right in the middle of where he was. I'll be back. I'm not done. And indeed, he'll be back. His job is not finished. And he'll be back soon. There are far too many signs that tell everyone he's about to return and finish what he came here to do. And we are to look for him. We are to be ready. We are to be joyfully telling people and getting excited about telling people, look, he's coming back. He, he, he said he would to the disciples, and also when he left the tomb, he said, I'll be back. That's something that we need to really be excited about because that day is very near. No one knows the day or the hour, but a thousand times we know the season. We know a particular part. It's like four seasons. We'll know which of the four seasons it will be by the signs. And the number one most key sign of everything was his people, God's chosen people, returning home, fulfilling a prophecy. And then the last prophecy that was fulfilled was in 1967 when Israel was again attacked. Israel won that war gained more land, but most importantly, they took all of Jerusalem back and it is in their possession. That's the last prophecy that's been fulfilled. Guess which prophecy gets to be fulfilled after that? The next prophecy is the taking away of the church. Think about it. He said, by the way he folded the napkin and laid it on his deathbed that didn't hold him. Death couldn't kill him. Death couldn't keep him down. But he got up on a third day folded that shroud turn, folded that napkin, laid it down and said to the world, I'm not done. I'll be back. We are in the day. We are in the season that he's coming back. Guys, be ready. And he tells us, he says, Tell everyone, make everyone excited because this is going to be a reunion. This is going to be a taking out, taking out of the way the church so that the world can, can continue and fulfill the rest of the prophecies, which are really bad. We don't want to see the rest of the prophecies being fulfilled. Jody Wolf exposed.